This is a top-down beret, so I can make the round part as big as I want and then move into the rest of it. I don't need to work it the same size that they suggest in the pattern. Starting top-down means I can make it whatever size I want, depending what thread I'm using. And in this case, I'm using rigs and little country roving five strand. Roving means that they, that it's unspun thread, so you can see there's five strands here. And I've used, I've used this, this wool in many different ways. Sometimes I just pull out one strand and knit with it. Sometimes with two, combine different colors together like that too. So. It's a very good follow. I'm using it in the full five strands for this. It's going to be a chunky beret. I'm cutting the thread now. It's over. I hope it fits. If it doesn't fit, it's not going to be a happy story. Just working the end in now. So it doesn't show. The crochet hook. Let me know how well you can see this. This is a number four millimeter crochet hook, which suits the size of what we're doing. There's many ways to block things, which is what we're doing now. This, this way is kind of the cheater way. I mean, they often recommend that you soak it, things in water, but I found that this has worked quite well, and I'll show you an example of it in a moment. So I'm just trying to get some of the water into it. So it'll make the wool a little bit more malleable, like I'll be able to shape it, especially the band on the bottom. So it'll just it'll take a few minutes to soak in. Meanwhile, I'm going to... And I want this band to be about 20 inches in circumference, and I think I've been able to achieve that. But if not, I might have to just pull the beret out a little bit more. I have this yellow string on here so that I can tighten the band if I need to after it's, if it's not going to be the right size for me. Just getting it nice and wet. Just kind of pushing the water into the fiber. There, I'm forming the band a little bit. May need more after I measure it. So, this is more or less what it's going to look like. Um, it's just going to sit on this plate till it's bone dry. And then, when it's finished, the top will be very much like this like it will be flat, but it's nice because the knitting's been pulled out. So it, it, it looks, it has a good look to it. Whereas if you just leave it, you saw what it was like. It was just kind of a bumpy bag. And this, you know, it wears quite nice. And you can see the edge. You know, there's many ways to wear this too with this bulky wool. Like that, it can look kind of like a chess piece. So that's the blocking. This was, this is very chunky wool. Pulling the string so that I can get the band about the size that I want it, which is, I'm aiming for 20 inches around. And I'm at about, I'm just over 20. I think that's going to be fine. The head size for this beret is about 20 or 21 or 22 inches, so we want it a little bit. Uh, smaller so that it will stretch and stay on the head nicely. Okay, so I think that's done.
All that I need to do is let it dry.